Hi, my name's Ken Bailey. The Lord gave me a vision this morning and has asked me to share it with you, and I'm going to. The vision started out with a scripture, and it was Matthew 4.4. 4. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And the reason the Lord uh, chose that scripture uh, to use with this vision was to let you know the people of the, and the nations of the world to know that all prophecy written in the Word of God is going to come to pass that hasn't taken place yet. All end time prophecy is going to take place. And the Lord is speaking a word uh, to, today through this vision for me to give to you. The vision started out after the verse with, with me seeing two tiny little baby's feet. And the baby was laying on a counter and it was covered with a sheet or a, a, a white towel and only the feet were sticking out. Then I suddenly I saw inside a woman's womb and I saw a fetus inside there growing inside a woman's body. And it was so beautiful, but it, but it was so vulnerable. Would, would, it, would it be allowed to live? Would the woman choose life for it or not? Suddenly I saw men and women in white coats in a lab. They were working in a lab and they had their instruments and there were stainless steel counters there with these babies lying on them, on top of them. And I was told that the scientists were going to do experiments on the babies and I was sad. Suddenly I was taken out of the lab and I was shown a barren piece of ground. Nothing was growing. There was no grass. There was no trees. There was a single flagpole. It was almost like I was out in the desert in Arizona or somewhere. No life at all. There was one single flagpole. I looked at the top of the flagpole and there was the American flag at the top of the flagpole. But it was being lowered. It was coming down to the ground being slowly lowered down the flagpole. It was taken off and thrown onto the ground and set on fire. And I was told, America has now come under judgment and America has been judged and it no longer exists. America now ceases to exist. And I was so sad. Then suddenly I saw two men raising a flag and they raised it up on that single flagpole out in the desert, no life, and it was a red flag. And I was told it was the Chinese Communist Party flag. And I saw two Chinese men raising it and the gold colors and stars on the flag. And I was so sad. But suddenly I left the flagpole and I was shown that war was going on all over the world. I saw... Uh, jets in the air and they were dropping their bombs, nuclear bombs, bombing everywhere, shooting missiles. The skies were full of jets. I saw an aircraft carriers and jets were taking off with their missiles from the aircraft carriers and jets were landing to get refueled and more missiles put back on them. I saw uh, battleships of different armies and navies and they were shooting their big guns and launching their artillery uh, everywhere. And it was terrifying. Suddenly I looked and I, I was on, on land and I saw marching in front of me an, an army of robots. These were robotic soldiers marching towards battle. Huge number of them. I couldn't count them all. Robots going to battle. Then suddenly I looked up in the air and I saw a swarm of what looked like birds and they were moving in the air uh, together. But suddenly they got closer and I saw they were drones and they they were synced up. They were synchronized where they could move together. They were drones, uh, military drones going to war with the robotic soldiers. I was seeing missiles flying everywhere. Suddenly I saw uh, I saw a bear running on the ground. A, a bear, like a grizzly bear, a giant bear running on the ground. It was on the attack. I saw it running on the ground and suddenly it turned into a tank. And, I, and it kept right on going and it got closer to me. And I was suddenly able to see a face on the front of a, ta of a tank. It had either been painted on there or whatever. And it was the face of Vladimir Putin.
Then suddenly I saw Putin meeting with the leader of Turkey and the leader of Iran. And those two nations and a couple of other smaller nations started uh, going and marching in battle with their, with their men and their uh, tanks and, and their missiles. And suddenly I saw an Israeli flag. And I was made to know that these, that Russia and Iran and, and Turkey and these other couple of nations were going to attack Israel. War continued everywhere. Suddenly I looked on the horizon and I saw a nuclear bomb go off on the ground. And I, I, there was a flash of light and I covered my eyes and I heard the roar. Then I opened up my eyes and I saw a mushroom cloud going up into the atmosphere. And it was terrifying and I knew so many people uh, were going to die from these nuclear missiles and bombs that were going off. And I was so, so sad, so scared. I saw, suddenly I was out on the sea and I saw a submarine. And I saw inside the submarine, and I saw the men in there, and and they set they shot a missile, a nuclear missile in the water, a torpedo, if you will, and it blew up. There was a nuclear explosion under the water. Suddenly, I looked at the shoreline, and and the ocean started moving back away from the shore, and then it went forward. And I saw a giant, a massive tidal wave, tsunami, coming towards the shore. And I saw people on the shore, and they were unaware that the, they were playing along the beach, and they were unaware they couldn't, they didn't have time to get up to higher ground or anything. And I watched them uh, be swept into the wave, and it overcome them and flood. And I watched them drowning in the water. And missiles continued everywhere. I saw missiles going up into space, intercontinental ballistic missiles, nuclear missiles going up and coming back into the Earth's atmosphere and landing and blowing up. And, I, and suddenly I was shown a, a line of people and they were in line to get food. And they were so sad. Uh, there was very little food to eat. There was a famine now. And I saw wealthy people dressed very nice. And I was made to know there were, know there were even well-educated people. And they were standing on corners and places begging for food, begging for water. No food. It was a great famine going on. Again, war continued uh, everywhere. I saw, uh, President, I saw President Xi... An image of, I saw President Xi dressed in a military uniform. I saw an image of him. And later in the vision, I saw an image of Kim Jong un. I saw him as well. Wars going on everywhere. I'm, I'm in the spirit. I never see my body. And I'm in the spirit. Suddenly, I'm taken up above the earth many miles. I'm way up in the atmosphere. And I look up. And I see in the distance a, a, a giant uh, wall of clouds. And suddenly it splits like a curtain opening up. And out comes a single white horse with a rider on it coming right towards me. I see the rider on the horse. And instantly I know who it is. It's Jesus. He's riding down to the earth. He's not dropping straight down. He's coming down. Uh, at first I see him face on and then he turns and, he, and he's riding in front of me uh, going downward at an angle like this to the earth. I'm up in the sky and he is going down. And I get to see him. And he's got a gold crown or, or maybe more than one crown on his head. And he's got this white hair that's going down to about uh, his shoulder area here. He's got a full white beard. His eyes are blood red, and I, I, I'm able to look in them, and I see flames of fire. His brows kind of furrowed up as he's intent on coming down. The horse is fierce and is, is coming down ready for war, ready for battle. I see a sword. I see a, a, bit, a huge sword. 
and the Lord's going by and I see him going right in front of me as he's going down to the battle. I see on the side of his leg, as, his left leg as he's riding down, I see King of Kings and Lord of Lords written there. He's got on a white un undergarment with a gold sash. And on over that, he's got a red robe, the color of blood, but it's not tucked uh, or totally wrapped around him. As he's going down and riding down, the wind's hitting it, and it's like he has a, it's like the robe comes up in the back like a cape. Uh, as it's coming up in the air as he's riding down, in f with a fierce look on his face as he's going down to battle with the white horse. Uh, I see him going down below me. Suddenly I look back up and there is a multitude of people and, and, and it just keeps going back and back as it opens up and it's too many to count of people dressed in white on top of white horses and they're, they're of many skin colors and, tr and, and tribes and nations, too many to count. And they started coming towards me and coming down to the earth also after the Lord. But the Lord was out front riding solo uh, on his brilliant white horse as he was going uh, down to the earth. And that brought me great joy. This was the highlight of the vision for me to see Jesus coming down to the earth. And I knew what he was doing. He was coming down now. I saw, I looked back down and I saw armies massing. Uh, from, ar from around the world, and they were coming uh, towards Israel and, and towards Jer Jerusalem to make war with Jesus. And looking down, I saw them. It was amazing uh, to, to see this scene. And suddenly, all I saw was like a red lake. A vast area, even here where I'm standing today, to, to make this video at this lake. The lake was blood red. I'm still up in the sky looking down on the earth, and I see this massive lake, and it's a lake of blood, red in color. Suddenly I look up, and there's vultures in the sky, and there's, uh, the, sky, the sky is full of vultures. And I, re and I look back down and the blood is starting to recede from the lake. And you can start to see gr ground and crusty, uh, crusty lake ground that was drying up from the blood. And bodies and carcasses were being exposed and the birds were coming to feed on them. And I, this, the, I can't even begin to describe to you how big the lake was and what I saw. Then I, I, then I was told that Jesus had gone to Jerusalem to set up his kingdom and that the millennium was coming. So I was full of joy knowing now that Jesus was back on the earth and that he was going to reign and we were going to be with him uh, forever and ever. And I was so excited about that. Friends, I pray that this vision blessed you that the Lord gave me today. Again, no credit to me. All glory to the Lord. He gave me the vision. The vision lasted over two hours. I'm just giving you a brief summary uh, of the vision. The Lord is coming soon. That's what he wants you to know. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I'm, I'm now even seeing the tribulation and the second coming of Christ. So how soon can the rapture be and the beginning of the tribulation if now the Lord's showing uh, us that this, even the visions of the tribulation and the second coming? God bless you all.